So a lot of companies, the top tech companies, evaluate you on something called data structures and algorithms. It's it's not an easy topic. It's not an easy module. It requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of time. But then, is it really required to join the top tech companies? The answer is yes. Does it help you become a good software engineer? The answer is yes. Is this something that you will be using on a day-to-day basis at your work? That depends on the company that you are joining. If you're joining a startup, the answer might be no. That you know, you might not really uh, end up using data structures and algorithms. But if you want to join the top tech companies, imagine Gmail, right? Uh, if you want to put in even a small icon change, or if you want to make a very small feature change, that upon clicking this icon, something should show up on the screen, right? Uh, that that piece of code is going to be executed a, more than a million times in a day once it is deployed, and if your code is not optimized, if your code even makes one database query at that moment, it is one million database queries that are being fired on a daily basis. And while you may not realize the impact right away, it is the number of CPU cycles, it is the number of database queries, it is the number of CPU uh, resources that are being used. All of those things are being accounted for and it is going to cost the company in millions and millions of dollars. So. Knowing the fundamentals of problem solving, knowing the fundamentals of computer science, fundamentals of programming helps you write clean code, which helps companies save millions of rupees, millions of dollars. And that is why problem solving is important. Uh, The scale at which you will be able to operate by writing clean, efficient code goes a long way, which is why these companies focus a lot on data structures and algorithms. It's a skill that you definitely should have. Thank you.